Yo, yo, welcome to the vlog. It's been a while. YouTube, I missed you. Thank you to all my subscribers out there. Thank you for tuning in today. We're in the studio. I just got finished at the gym, so like, I'm sweating. It's a rainy day here in Puerto Rico. But what else is there to do than paint? So we're working on a couple pieces. I have a Vegas show coming up for Super Bowl that I'm super excited for. I'm gonna be doing a Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas theme. So uh, it's one of my favorite movies. It's an icon for Vegas. So we're gonna make two mega canvases. I'm gonna take you on that process. Right now I'm finishing up a couple other pieces in the studio. And uh, yeah, let's get to work. Let's go. So this painting was inspired by my last trip to Vegas. We went and saw the Formula One race out there, which I think it's, it was the first time they did the Formula One in Vegas, and I think it was one of the best Formula Ones I've ever been to. Obviously, Monaco is number one, Abu Dhabi is good, but this is like, this was amazing. The track setup was beautiful. They, there was an amazing view of the race cars and then the, the skyline of Vegas, you know, at night, these hotels lit up are amazing. So this is the inspiration of how the track was set up, kind of the vision that I saw when I was watching the race. Um, so this is uh, inspired by my last trip. A lot of my art is inspired by travels and real life experiences. So it's just funny painting the Eiffel Tower um, when it's not the Paris one, it's a Vegas one, the Vegas Eiffel Tower. Right, loading them up. Got all the canvas in here. This is a whole art show worth of paintings. Months of work. I hope it gets there safe, but we build these pretty sturdy, so. I'm exhausted, still jet lagged from Japan, so we're gonna call it a day. Uh, just finished that Vegas Formula One piece, and tomorrow we're starting the mega canvas. This is gonna be a big project. It's probably gonna take a couple days in itself. So I'm excited to start it. I haven't painted a really large scale piece in maybe a year or two. So I'm excited to do something huge. Let's go. The next day. Okay guys, we're back. Last night I spent a couple hours making a sketch on the painting we're gonna do today. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Benicio Del Toro and Johnny Depp rolling through the desert. Uh, it's a scene where they're coming from Los Angeles to Vegas. Uh, I've done this drive many times. They're going through Death Valley. Uh, they're in a classic Cadillac. So I watched the movie last night, even though I've seen the movie like 20 times, but kind of refreshed and did some drawing. Didn't get much sleep because I'm on this crazy jet lag. I woke up at like 5 a.m. wide awake, so I started getting some work done. And uh, today we're gonna put that idea on canvas. Banging it out. Let's prime this baby up. Okay, so I just finished the first layer. Probably gonna do like three layers on this because the canvas is pretty rough and then sand that down because the smoother the canvas is, the easier it is to get those clean brush strokes. So we're doing another layer. It's like buffing a wall. The third layer on this one. Whew. Okay, so I'm about to do a little sketch on this. I'm gonna do the blue background because it's the main color in, um, in, with a roller. This is the background of the piece. Right here is Johnny Depp driving. And then here is Benicio Del Toro. So this is my favorite sky color. It's called Baby Blue. Look at that beautiful blue. Ooh, that's so satisfying. So this is like the rough area where the sky is gonna start. It's like I'm sketching kind of with the brush. Now I'm gonna do, now that we've done like three layers basically, sanded it, now we're gonna paste uh, the, the faces I'm gonna do uh, with vintage newspaper. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna take a little break from this. We're doing the background. Um, I just uh, ordered, well, I didn't just order it. Over two years ago, I ordered this Polaris Kinetic. It's like the Polaris Ranger, but it's electric. Here in the bubble in our neighborhood, the golf course and stuff, they don't allow gas powered uh, golf carts. This is not technically a golf cart. This is a UTV, but we're gonna use it as a golf cart. It also has a license plate, which is very cool in Puerto Rico. You're allowed to have UTVs with license plates. In America, you can't do this. A lot of countries, you're not allowed on the street with them. So that's one of my favorite things about Puerto Rico is you can have license plates on quads, dirt bikes, everything. So this is arriving, I think, any moment now. I'm super excited. Two years I've been waiting. It's gonna be like the ultimate golf cart. Wow, new baby just arrived. Okay, let's take this baby for a ride. It is comfortable to drive, that's for sure. It's just, I don't know why it's going so slow. Right, it feels like it's going slow. Uh, maybe because you don't have the, with the like a canam, this. Oh. Maybe, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh yeah, probably. You know, the golf cart has no power steering. It uh, doesn't even have a screen. This thing is like, look at the screen. Backup cameras, we got everything. This is luxury. Luxury living. <laughs> it's a little big for the neighborhood. So we're doing a little spring cleaning in the house. Don't judge, it's a mess. I'm, we're reorganizing. Come here, buddy. Oh, Goro. Maybe you guys haven't seen Goro on the, on the vlog recently. He's grown up to be a big boy. Gordo's still kind of in the training process. We gotta walk him a lot still. Come on. A few moments later. Hey, okay, daddy duties are over. Let's head back to the studio. I just finished the uh, Vegas pieces, so we're gonna put those. The last one is going out right now. We gotta get back to the studio and get that out. Now it's got the resin and we gotta wrap it. So check it out. Look at, look at that resin finish. Look how beautiful that looks. On the way to Vegas. It's gonna be a crazy week in Vegas. It's Super Bowl weekend in Las Vegas. Usually Super Bowl weekend is crazy there. Even when the Super Bowl is not in town. Imagine now that it's in town. Goodbye. 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 Back to work. Run. I love that thing, my new toy. Okay, so I just finished the texture newspaper layer. This is gonna be the base skin tone for the piece. So I'm gonna mix my own light blue that's gonna do some drips and give it some texture. Taller ladder. So dripping is like a science. You gotta know what type of paint, what type of water mixture. Um, a lot of people mix too much water and it drips too quickly. This, I know for a fact, this, this, uh, this type of paint, it, it drips very nicely, so. But you gotta know how much to load on, how far it goes. I've been dripping paint for a while. Jackson Pollock, one of my favorite artists. They called him Jack the Dripper, because he did so many drips on his canvas. I'm gonna let this dry. The paper's still drying, so. As you can see, this is a long process, making a piece like this. Okay, so now I'm starting to spray paint. I'm doing a little fill-in. I'm gonna start from the bottom because the top is still wet. I'm gonna do the seat that they're sitting in the car.
so satisfying watching it drip. Colors are looking good. Filling in the black lines, this is when the piece really comes to life and it gives it definition. Again, we're starting with the eyes and working our way out. Let's go. All right, guys. Woof. I'm about to call it a day. I can barely see. Tomorrow we're gonna finish it up. I'm just gonna fill in some of these blacks, and then we're out of here. So I'll see you tomorrow. One day later. So now I'm gonna paint the bats. Finish the bats. They're looking really cool. A little spooky, very cool. I'm gonna do a couple little ones here and there, but we're almost done with the bats. We're done. Wow. Thank you guys for tuning into the vlog. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Click subscribe and like this video and I'll see you next week.